There's no country in the world, not Niger, not Mali, not Nepal, not Somalia, that has a larger proportion of underweight children as India. There's no country in the world, not Niger, not Mali, not Nepal, not Somalia, that has a larger proportion of underweight children as India. Same, more or less the same picture if you look at stunting rates, if you look at uh, deprivation of uh, micronutrients like, you know, iron deficiency, uh, vitamin A, in all these respects, India is pretty much at the rock bottom. Now, one reason for that, which is fairly obvious, is, you know, what I've just shown, that a nutritious diet uh, is just beyond the reach of large numbers of people. I mean, if you were to replace this basket with what people actually need for a healthy living, you know, some eggs, bananas, uh, diversity of vegetables and milk and so on, and, and, and provision for children and all that, it would just be way beyond the poverty line. So I think huge numbers of people just cannot afford a nutritious diet. That's one part of it. I think, uh, but I think it's just one part of the fact that basically all the ena enabling factors are missing. You know, purchasing power is missing, um, women's empowerment, education, time is missing, um, public health care facilities are missing, child nutrition programs are missing, and that's the end of that whole process. Well, I think there are many lessons from the more progressive states, starting of course uh, with Kerala, which has been well recognized for a long time for its progress progressive social policies and the outcomes of these progressive social policies, and more recently other states like, for example, Tamil Nadu, Himachal Pradesh, which have really shown that you don't have to wait to be rich uh, to uh, confront these mass deprivations, uh, nutrition, food insecurity, poor health, illiteracy. I mean, you can actually really do something.